The Chinese embassy said all Chinese enterprises are reminded to tighten risk control and avoid accepting LCs issued by People's Bank of Sri Lanka in international trade with Sri Lanka. Recently, the Chinese fertilizer enterprise Chindao Seawin Biotech Group requested to get the payment of LC by People's Bank of Sri Lanka according to the contracts. The Chinese embassy said, disregarding the contract obligation, the business rules and international trade customs, the People's Bank of Sri Lanka defaulted the payment of LC and caused huge losses to the Chinese enterprise. However, organic fertilizer samples from China's Qindao Seawin Biotech Group tested for the presence of harmful pathogens not once, but twice in tests carried out by Sri Lanka's National Plant Quarantine Service. Sri Lanka subsequently decided not to accept the consignment of fertilizer sent from China. Against such a backdrop, the Sri Lanka state fertilizer companies obtained an enjoining order against the Chinese company Chindao Seawin Biotech, its local agent and the People's Bank from the Commercial High Court. However, People's Bank issuing a statement said that it is bound by an enjoining order issued by the Commercial High Court of Sri Lanka with regard to the trade transaction in question, which precludes the bank from processing the payment. The release added that the Chinese embassy has already been informed of this. People's Bank also said that the temporary delay in processing the said payment pertaining to the LC is solely due to the bank's obligation to be bound by the legal directions of the country as a responsible corporate citizen. It added that once the legal barriers in effect are removed, the LC payment will be effected promptly as per the usual trade practices. The National Plant Quarantine Service identified the harmful bacteria in the stock of fertilizer imported from China. Can Sri Lanka blacklist the Chinese company for providing substandard fertilizer? I don't know why they blacklisted the People's Bank. The People's Bank has not stopped its payments. They have been given a court order. The People's Bank is bound to act according to the court order issued to them. It is the Ceylon Fertilizer Company that has received the enjoining order. We cannot ban the company concerning this agreement. What we can do is import fertilizer that meets the required standards as per the agreement. Meanwhile, the Hippo Spirit ship carrying 20,000 metric tons of organic fertilizer that had left the Chindao port in China does not appear in the network of maritime trade routes. Where is this ship at present? It was last seen on the 24th at the seas of Hambantota. The ship's name has later changed to Seyor Explorer. The Chinese company said that the rejected fertilizer sample should be given to a third party with the approval of the two concerning factions for retesting. The Minister of Agriculture, however, said that Sri Lanka will not agree to retest the stock of fertilizer. Recently, the Agriculture Minister said that a new stock of fertilizer must be delivered to Sri Lanka and those samples can be tested. The National Plant Quarantine Service expressed the following views regarding the preparation to direct the rejected fertilizer samples to a third party for retesting. An application form was given. According to that, we issued an import license. Samples were imported based on that. The legal responsibility to test the samples lies with us. Upon testing, we identified bacteria harmful to agriculture. We cannot let that into the country. We have informed them. that is true. If the National Quarantine Services Centre identifies a sample as unfavourable to the country and if a third party begs to differ, we cannot let it into the country.